everyone. Welcome to English class. The theme of our lesson today is present continuous. Uh, you should all be perfectly familiar with the, the present continuous. So this grammar um, uh, focus mainly on revision and consolidation. So uh, let's start uh, with the meaning of the present continuous. We use the present continuous to describe actions in progress at the present moment and to describe actions happening around now, even though not at the moment of speaking. Key examples um, with the, the sentences in present continuous. The water is boiling. Can you turn it off? Uh, I'm reading the Lord of the Rings. Let's look at the formation uh, of the present continuous. The present continuous is formed with the auxiliary verb be and the ing form on, of the main verb. So, be plus verb plus ing. Look at these examples. I'm relaxing, you are relaxing, we are relaxing, they are relaxing, and he, she is relaxing. In speech and in informal writing, the verb be is contracted. And uh, here you can see the examples with the contractions uh, of the auxiliary verb be. Uh, spelling rules. Verbs end in E drop the E when they uh, add ing. So, let's take a uh, verb like. Uh, when we uh, form ing uh, form, uh, we uh, drop E and add ing. So, like, liking. You see that E is dropped. The same pattern uh, for these verbs. Write, writing, E also here is dropped. Decide, deciding, and many other examples. Verbs with one syllable ending in one vowel and one consonant double the consonant. Uh, examples for this uh, spelling rule um, sit, sitting, swim, swimming, dig. Digging. Verbs ending IE change IE to Y. Lie, lying, die, dying, tie, tying. So these verbs uh, end in IE, and uh, when uh, we form ING form uh, for these, uh, for such kind of verbs, we change IE to Y and then uh, add ing. So, how uh, can we uh, form questions in the present continuous? Yes, no questions are formed by inverting the subject and the auxiliary B. Examples, am I writing? Are you writing? Is he, she writing? So, uh, you can uh, see that uh, auxiliary verb be uh, is inverted and uh, when we uh, form questions, we uh, put uh, it uh, at the beginning of the uh, question sentence. Um, questions with the question uh, words uh, follow the same pattern. So look at these examples. What are you writing? Or, why are you writing? So, in these sentences, also uh, auxiliary uh, verb is inverted. We put it uh, at the, um, uh, before the subject, but uh, we uh, put a question word uh, before uh, the auxiliary verb be. Uh, so, uh, question word, uh, word uh, is at the beginning of the sentence. Then uh, we put auxiliary verb be and then uh, your subject.
So, negative. Negatives are formed with the verb be uh, plus not. This is also contracted in speech and in informal writing. So, examples. I am not writing. He is not writing. They are not writing. Uh, but please uh, remember that um, such kind of contractions can be used only in informal writing and only in informal speech. So uh, when uh, um, we um, do with uh, academic writing or uh, formal uh, speech, we should use uh, the full uh, form of the auxiliary verb. And uh, we can't use such kind of contractions. <clears throat> Some students uh, still uh, mix uh, present simple and present continuous, and sometimes uh, make uh, mistakes. So please uh, look at this table and compare the usage of present simple and present continuous. And here uh, in this table, um, the basic uh, rules um, are uh, covered. So, present simple uh, is used for permanent action, for our habits and routines, uh, for facts uh, which are always true and mostly in general situation. Uh, present continuous mostly used for temporary action, for uh, progress, uh, for actions which uh, for actions uh, which uh, in progress uh, now, for events happening at the moment and uh, uh, mostly uh, for uh, when we speak about a, a particular situation. So uh, please uh, remember uh, these points and keep in mind. It is uh, very important. And try to remember and don't confuse the usage of uh, present simple and present continuous. Uh, when we uh, speak about uh, present continuous, uh, we uh, should mention action and non-action, or we can also say uh, state verbs. Uh, a state uh, is when something stays the same. An action is when uh, something happens. So, verbs which describe actions, so action verbs. Mm -hmm can be used in the present simple or continuous. Uh, for example, I usually make the lunch at the weekend and I'm making the lunch. So the first sentence uh, is in the present simple and the second sentence uh, is in the present continuous. Uh, the verb make, it's an action verb so we can use it both in the present simple and continuous. Verbs which describe uh, our states or feelings, so not actions, are not usually used in any continuous form, not only a present continuous, uh, in any continuous form, mm -hmm. even if we mean now. Uh, for example, I know what you mean. So, verbs now and mean, they are state verbs and uh, we uh, can't use them um, in the present continuous, even if uh, this uh, action uh, is happening now. Uh, we can't say, I'm knowing what you are meaning. It's wrong. Hmm? Uh, 
uh, here um, you can see the most common examples of state verbs uh, in English. So, uh, verbs related to uh, senses, feelings, thinking, possession, being uh, are state verbs. So, uh, let's look at the examples of state verbs. Uh, appear, hear, look, like, see, taste, like, hate, love, prefer, want, wish, uh, belong to, have, own, uh, coast, recognize, all and many other examples. And all <clears throat> these uh, verbs are state verbs. And we should be uh, careful uh, when uh, we use them uh, in the present continuous. But uh, there are some exceptions. A few verbs in the previous list can be both action and non-action. They can have a state meaning and an action meaning. And examples of such kind of Verbs include be, have, taste, think. Uh, so here examples. Uh, <clears throat> I have two sisters. So in this sentence, <clears throat> the verb have uh, in the, uh, has the meaning of permanent state. So we uh, can't use it uh, in <clears throat> continuous form. Uh, I am having problems with this computer. So, in this sentence, uh, the verb have uh, has uh, the meaning of temporary action. So, we uh, can use it uh, in this case uh, in the in continuous form. And sometimes state verbs can uh, describe uh, temporary feelings. So, uh, in these uh, situations, uh, state verbs uh, also can um, be used uh, in uh, present or other continuous form. Uh, example, how are you getting on at your new school? You uh, can um, give answer like, I hate or I'm hating. And uh, one more exception uh, with the verb uh, feel. There is almost no difference of meaning between the simple and the continuous when we use this verb. I feel awful or I'm feeling awful. How do you feel now or how are, feel, are you feeling now? So uh, the verb feel, uh, has no difference of meaning between the simple and continuous. And exception with uh, the adverb uh, always, we can use always with the present continuous when we are exaggerating or complaining, when uh, we emphasize something. So, uh, for example, you are always forgetting your keys. Mm -hmm. Here we uh, want to emphasize always. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in speech uh, and uh, in some uh, sentences uh, like this, we can uh, use always uh, with the present continuous. So uh, that's all for today uh, about uh, present continuous. Now, um, we do some exercises for consolidation. Thank you for your attention.